Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and welcome to this session of APM. Now in this session, we will see how we can use a real Android device and we will make it ready for our automation testing with APM. This is going to be very easy and very interesting and I will go step by step. You can follow along with me whenever you have any questions, you can let me know. So uh, here we have done all these topics earlier, just in case you have any doubts in any of these earlier topics, you can check the earlier parts i also keep all the links to the earlier parts in this document and you will see uh, this a link of for this document in the description of this video so let me quickly go to the part android real device setup for automation okay so here the step number one is we will open our mobile device and go to the settings so I have my mobile device here. Now here I have connected my mobile device to my system so that I can show you the screen, my mobile screen here. But at this moment you do not need to connect your mobile device. Just open your mobile device and go to the settings. So I will go to the settings here and then we have to go to about phone and then you, we will find a option called build number or software version and then we will uh, tap on it so that we become a developer and then we will enable USB debugging. Now here our uh, target here is to enable USB debugging on our Android device and the process may differ a little, the navigation may differ a little on different devices with different operating system. I'm showing you what works on my system, my mobile device, but just in case you do not find the exact navigation on your device, you can check you can google that for your particular device and your particular android version what is the process what is the navigation to enable usb debugging so this is our target to enable usb debugging on our device now one more thing here uh, if you are using your primary android device that is uh, the device that you use for your general use i will suggest and recommend that if you have you can use a device which you do not use for your primary purpose uh, so that if anything goes wrong you do not face any issues and then we in the earlier session we have already seen how we can use emulators how we can create and use emulators if you want to use emulators or android virtual device even that is fine okay so now i am in my settings of my mobile device and then i will go to about phone so about phone will be under i believe under system management so i will go here i will tap here and yes i found this setting about phone i will go here and then here we have to find a option called build number or software version and yes i have software version here and i will tap on it seven times and you can see as you tap you will see you will become a developer here it is saying that no need because i am already a developer so basically the idea here is that you become a developer on the on this device and after you do that after this if you again go to about phone this time or you go to your system settings so i will again go to system uh, settings and system management here if i scroll down i find this option developer options and this will only come after you become a developer on your device so i will go here and then here we will find the option usb debugging and make it on in my case it is already on and that is the reason why i am able to connect this device to my computer and i'm able to show this on the screen so i'm using a software called visor with the help of this we can connect our mobile device and show the screen on our computer but this is not required this i am doing just to show you my mobile device so as of now you do not even have to connect your device to your computer or laptop you just have to enable usb debugging until this step okay so after this is done now is the time when we will attach our mobile phone or device to our laptop or desktop with the help of a usb cable or whatever cable you have to connect your device so you can now connect your mobile device with your laptop or desktop okay and 
when you do this if you get a prompt on your mobile device like uh, allow USB debugging so make it yes or click on allow okay and after this now when you go to your command line or terminal if you are on windows you can go to command prompt run the command adb devices and this should show your device and the, this is the id of the device and this is the device attached now just in case this command does not work this is the tool adb is the executable file coming from our platform tools in the earlier sessions we have seen how do we download platform tools folder so if i just show you here i will this is the folder where we edit command line tools and all the SDK tools and this is my platforms tools and here you can see we have ADB the same thing is there on Windows as well so the process is exactly the same therefore I am not repeating it on Windows and Mac separately the process is going to be exactly the same okay so this is what is we are using if it does not work from any location on the command prompt you can go to this particular location on the command prompt where you will find ADB that is in platform tools open this location in your command prompt and then run the adb devices command you should see the list of uh, devices and you should see the device here okay this is what we have as the next step so we have already seen this we allow usb debugging and then we say adb devices and we should get this device listed here okay this means that this device is now ready for automation or it is ready to interact with our APM script so if if I start the APM server and then if I give the capabilities of this device like the device name operating system platform version etc we will be able to interact with the device we will be able to open the application using APM and we will be able to see the locators find the locators create our scripts which we will see in the coming sessions but as of now we have we are able to make our real device ready for automation now the same process I have uh, written here with some detailed steps so this is the same process I have added this here so that you can check this later on but it is the same process that I have just explained okay now after this to use our device or to do any kind of testing on our Android device we need a APK file so APK file, APK stands for Android Package Kit and APK file is the file for our Android application okay so whenever we have to do any testing on any application if we are using Android we will need a APK file if we are using a iOS uh, device or I we are doing iOS testing then we will need a .app file for simulators and .ipa file for real devices okay and then in case we are using a app which is already present we can get the build id uh, of that particular app we can also get the app activity name and then uh, we can give it in our desired capabilities so that the uh, when we run it apm knows which app to use which app to start and to uh, do testing on that particular app okay so for android generally we use apk files for the applications so here i have added some um, analogy so that you can understand like imagine your phone is like a new house and then you have to add some furniture and decorations so here you can think of APKs like special boxes that contain everything that you need like the instructions code images sound etc to run an application therefore we will need APK files to do testing on the Android applications okay so here we have some sample apk files so i have added some sample apk files here okay so there is a this apk file from apm it has both apk and app files for ios then this is a link so you will find this app here then we have this calculator app that we can get from this up to down link okay so we can get an app like this then there is a bit bar application that we can get the apk file and use it we have a browser stack application then source labs then test project also has an application file then there are some catalon studio apk files as well so when we start doing testing 
we can use any of these uh, sample files but in case you are using you are doing testing for your projects or you already have some applications that you want to test you can use your own apk files or your own applications as well all this we will see and learn step by step how to do this how to use these files and then how can we start apm inspector and then start a session for apm inspector now apm inspector we will use where we will uh, connect our mobile device and also connect to our APM server. So APM inspector is like a GUI tool for APM that can help us to uh, connect our mobile devices, see our applications, interact with our application and the objects or elements, create scripts and then we can use these scripts in our frameworks. Although if we want we can directly create our scripts and start using it in our projects or frameworks but then it will be uh, we will have to do everything manually. So APM Inspector is a very very useful tool for us if we are using APM and earlier we had APM Desktop which did the same things but now it is deprecated and APM Inspector now has a browser version as well so we can directly just open it on a browser and start using it. So this is going to be very interesting. We will look about APM Inspector in the next session. So this session was dedicated to how can we get our real Android device ready for automation. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions or any doubts you can let me know in the comment section. If you have any general message as well, you can let me know in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.